Congratulations are in order for Christy Lee as she just married her longtime love, John Hawkins, on November 18, 2023. And we are already getting an inside look into their automotive-themed wedding that happened at the Packard Motor Car Co. The HGTV star tie the knot in the Michigan-based 17-acre Packard Proving Grounds in front of 160 guests. The venue and theme reflected both the couple's shared interest in cars and motorcycles, especially Lee, who is famed for being the host of shows like All Girls Garage and Celebrity Joyride IOU. We took one look at the Packer Proving Grounds and we are like, this is it. This is a place. This is perfect for us, Lee recalls. It just oozed automobilia and history and had this amazing retro eclectic car vibe. We fell in love with it on the spot. They wanted their wedding to be casual, to feel like one big party, short and sweet. It gave us more time to share the day with our guests, Lee noted. They also have a friend officiate who gave a funny and fitting and uplifting performance. Lee chose to walk down the aisle with a swing life away instrumental by Rise Against played on keyboard and violin. According to People, she looked gorgeous in a revolve strapless satin dress with an A-line silhouette paired with Jimmy Choo shoes and Oscar de la Renta crystal teardrop earrings. As soon as I put it on, I knew it was the one, Lee said about her dress. It had this really beautiful slit up one of the legs, but the pleating of the skirt hid it so well. You have that opportunity to have that clean, classic A-line look, but also show just a leg, a little peekaboo if you wanted. And the real highlight, the pockets, she quipped. I don't know what it is about pockets on dresses, but it just makes them better. Playing into the theme, the wedding had multiple elements like a vintage craftsman toolbox for holding guests' cards, vintage thumb oilers, as a table card holders, and a bride and groom motorcycle helmet. Also, a 1950 Chevy 3100 took center stage in the reception hall, and guests were also given a tour of Packard's car collection held in the tank building of the establishment during the cocktail hour. Lee had her mother, a former floral designer, take care of all the floral arrangements making for an amazing moment to have with my mom. The reception served the guests a filling buffet dinner with a New York strip steak carving station, mashed potatoes, roasted veggies, and mac and cheese, among other items. The dessert was a traditional wedding cake with a size of cupcakes of various flavors. The couple hit the stage for their first dance to Aaron Lewis's Someone. It was one of the first chances of the night that John and I had to just kind of talk to each other, as she recalls of their dance. The rest of the wedding disappears in that moment. It's amazing how great their wedding turned out considering how she struggled with a health crisis right after they were engaged in late December 2022 after eight years of dating. They were like lucky enough to snatch up the last date available for Packard Proving Grounds for 2023 only for disaster to strike a few days later. Lee woke up with a severe migraine that would end up in two autoimmune disorders, Graves' disease and thyroid eye disease or TED. After grueling surgeries and other treatments, they even considered postponing their marriage but decided to push through regardless in the end. Lee had a hustle to the finish line, literally working through her recovery to get everything in time. The couple hasn't decided yet between Fiji and Hawaii for their honeymoon.